Welcome, I'm the Kaiju no Kami here at Akon 2017. I've got a few great cosplayers. Welcome, everyone. Are you having fun? Yeah, of, of course. course. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Of course. For those that might not know what your cosplaying is, who are you? We are the original Teen Titans from the 2003 show, not the new one that just recently came out. Yeah, no, not that garbage. <laughs> <laughs> and what characters are you? I'm Robin, the leader. I'm Starfire. I'm Raven, the one with actual powers. I'm Beast Boy. I'm Tara. The iconic, infamous, and lustrous <laughs> cyborg leader of the group. Okay. <laughs> you know you're a Justice Leaguer now, not a Titan, right? <laughs> so am I. <laughs> Reboot, <laughs> retcon. So you guys said you're all having a good time. Is this your first time at this convention or have you been here before? Uh, no, uh, for some of us it's been like our fourth year. For some mm -hmm. of us it's like second or third. But the thing is we've been to Acon more than once. Like this yeah. isn't our first rodeo. Yeah, yeah. I went, like I think my first Acon was Acon 23. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. This, mm -hmm. this is actually my fourth Acon and I've cosplayed at every one. Yeah. Wow. Are you, have you, are you staying as the Titans the entire weekend or have um, you been changing up? We've been changing it up. Um, on Thursday I was from Kuroko no Basque. Yesterday we were from Voltron and tomorrow we're doing Mystic Messenger. Oh, so you guys were the Voltron group. Yeah. Well, not all of us. Only two of us did it yesterday. Okay. How, and so you obviously you love the Teen Titans and you love Voltron as well? Uh, yeah. yeah. A lot of us yeah, actually watch the show. Shiro is my... Which one? Shiro. <laughs> I, it's amazing how good they've made that show. It's like they've rebooted Voltron three times and this is the first one. Oh, season, I can't wait till, because it brings in Lotor, who is my favorite character. As you can see, we have a thing for the hero shows. <laughs> so what would you say to someone who is just getting into cosplay if they're unsure if they want to do it? Do what you're comfortable with. Do what you're comfortable with, and you have to set a budget, and you have to stick by it. It's mm -hmm. really, cosplay is a really expensive hobby, and I started when I didn't have a job, and I don't even know how I managed to mm -hmm. uh, find the money to cosplay. But basically, you have to set a budget, and you have to know what you can do on your skill level, and what you can't do on your skill level, mm -hmm. and just do <laughs> your best. Like, honestly, it's not about competition. It's not about who For looks sure. better than anyone yeah, else. Just it's what you're it. doing and with your friends. Yeah, so. I remember the first time I cosplayed, I was super scared but everyone here is so supportive, so it really doesn't matter. Like, I thought I looked like trash my first year at Akon, but everyone said I looked really good, and everyone here is just really supportive, and they'll tell you you look great, but like, don't, for your first cosplay, don't try to make like a suit of armor. Stick with something simple and build up to that, because it'll get better. Did you have, some, did you have something to add? Oh, no, I was just gonna say, cosplay's all about having fun. That's the purpose of it. Not for competition or anything, just have fun with it. Yeah, and then like one major thing I learned is like never compare cosplays. Like if you see like if I saw another Tara, I would like go up to her and be like, oh, like I love your Tara. But it's like the worst to be like, oh, like, oh, she did this better than me. It's like feel confident in what you made and just like enjoy the con. <laughs> yeah, comparing it sometimes would not work. Like there's been all kinds of conventions will have different Gundams and they'll all be made differently. Like there was one convention, in our uh, local convention in Colorado, there was a guy in a full blown Gundam suit that looked like it was an actual Gundam. Mm -hmm. But then you'd have other ones that are pretty much just cardboard and if you compare them, all you're doing is really m making it hard on yourself. That's yeah. exactly. Everyone here looks amazing. Everyone here worked hard. Everyone here deserves the same love and recognition. Yeah, everybody yeah. worked on it. And like, if it's not up to the same level somebody else's, give it time and you'll get there. Mm -hmm. Everyone has time to work on it. For sure. Now, did you make these costumes yourself or did someone help you out with them? So this one, I actually had my Starfire help me out, but it is all handmade from everything except the wig, obviously. Yeah, I made every single piece of this, including the platforms. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like three pairs of flip-flops stacked on top of each other and like glued, and then a pair of flats on it. Um, and then the wig we obviously bought. <laughs> Yeah, I'm the wig stylist for basically all of them, so uh, obviously those aren't done. But I made this cloak um, like a long time ago, and I'm really proud of it. Um, the bodysuit I had to buy because I don't like working with stretchy fabric. That's just not my thing. Mm -mm. And I made these gems that are kind of crusty, but I mean, yeah. <laughs> And then the boot cover is my lovely Starfire help me. And what about your Titan's emblem? These we made out of the Hubba Robin. Bubba gum containers. These the Robin made out of Hubba Bubba gum containers. Yeah, but who helped you? No one! Literally no one helped oh, me. No. 
literally no one helped me. <laughs> That's awesome because when I did a pre-seto from Yu-Gi-Oh a couple years ago, I actually made the Millennium Rod out of two Mickey Mouse water squirt pens that were giant sized and styrofoam wow. so that's pretty awesome so what about yours uh, i pretty much bought mine uh i bought the shoes and i, I just kind of painted it and i made, made gloves yeah. and the belt and the shoes that's yeah. basically it. everything except for the body suit. yeah pretty much yeah. um actually i wasn't originally doing tara today we this is like done in less than 24 hours ago wow. like i bought this at the con uh, we went to Target, like cut this, glued it. Um, he was uh, from a character from Voltron yesterday, and I used his like, yeah, I used his uh, little sack. And then these were white shorts, and we dyed them, and yeah, I don't know, but it worked. And that's a wig you're wearing? Yeah. Because <laughs> it looks like it's actually natural, oh, yeah. which makes it really cool looking. <laughs> and what about yours? Um, I made the whole thing by myself. Uh, it was my first time ever really working like with crafts or like just molding or anything. It was really fun. A lot of hot, glun hot glue gun burns and yeah. whatnot, but I think I liked the final product. It was really fun to make. It looks really impressive. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Any question, anything you'd like to say to anyone out there that doesn't go to cons or anything? Um, if you want, if you're interested in cosplaying and stuff, I totally recommend going to a con because you get to meet so many lovely people. Like all of us met at cons and we're all mm -hmm. great friends now. So you'll really meet a lot of people that you'll get along with and you'll just, it's a really fun hobby to have. Mm -hmm. Taking a yeah. cosplay to the mall or Walmart is not the best way to get noticed. People are just going to think you're a weirdo and although society has yeah. been getting more accepting of weirdos like us, <laughs> a con is like the best place for yeah. mm -hmm. any of this sort. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Thing. Yeah. I went to Walmart and see too. Not a good idea. Nope. Yeah, yeah and you don't even have to idea. cosplay to go to a con. You can just like have a great time, just like even in just taking clothes. pictures. You know, waste yeah. all your money. Yeah, waste yeah. all your money. Mm -hmm. That's all we all do. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> so don't be afraid to cosplay. It's okay. There's so many people here today that have the same interests as you. So just go for it. Have a good time. It's a great way to meet new people. And friends. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thank yes. You. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Until next time, bye.